transition. Who gets to go into the light and who gets to stay next door? And what is next door? Next door is where you came from. Basically, we're pure energy. Nothing more than pure energy. The body that you're in, we call it the core. It's like a suit or a dress, something you dress up and you put on so you can be returned to have an opportunity to live this life, do a job, meet someone, fall in love, make love, do those little things we love, eat the food you like. But once that time is up, for whatever reason, you return to your original form and your original form is pure energy. Now, some people are saying, is heaven real? Angels real? Yes, it's all real. But the Bible, th that's real too. But remember, man write the Bible so they can put whatever they want in it. It doesn't dispel that the teachings aren't real and it's not historical. It's part of the process. Now, are aliens real? Yes, we've never been alone on this planet. We've never been alone in the universe. And yes, there are more advanced civilization that may have come and tweak our DNA somewhat for their own pleasure. But it does not dissolve the fact that there is a God and our souls are real because their souls are real too. Being more advanced or not, they tweaked it. What life is like next door? It's not very much different from this one. But remember, if you wind up back in that life, it simply means something you didn't do in this life. Like, for example, if you take your own life, you're not going to see that light. If you're a pedo, you're not going to see that light. If you know you're not living the life that's just a halfway decent human being or the life God intended you to live, which is not very difficult. Uh, no, yeah, you're not going to see the light. For the greedy, the the evil ones, the ones that know they're doing evil and know they're doing wrong, but you're going to be like, oh, I'm doing this because God said, you know, I'm cleansing. No, you're not. And you're not going into that light. What's going to happen to you? You're going to transition. You're going to be stuck next door with the rest of the miserable people or the people that cannot transition. You're going to have to wait another whole hundred years to try this again, to possibly come back and still be the idiot you was in this lifetime. Now, remember, this is science fiction. And from my book, a little bit and help people understand that the life you live, it's not difficult to be a decent human being determines the life you live when you transition.